Vijayanagar, which is the most haunted place in India right now. And there's a palace right there. That is where um, all the ghosts apparently reside. So the palace is about a kilometer's walk from here. And um, we've come in the evening, so they don't really allow you to go right there uh, because it's too far to go and come back before sunset. So you definitely wouldn't want to be here at night. It is quite spooky. So I'm going to try and go up on these steps to get a better look of the place. Boo! So I'm just going to pull up my sleeping bag and now just spend the night here. Okay, so we are in Alipi at Lake Lands, which is a place where you can hire out houseboats and canoes. So I'm about to enter the houseboat, now I'm on it, and it looks absolutely amazing. We've got a lovely sit-out area here with a TV. So this is bedroom number one. You've got a huge double bed, a dressing table, and a beautiful window there, which you can you know, open out because in the day you're not using the AC. And this here is the kitchen. So the crew is here um, and they prepare all your meals in this kitchen. So the great part is I'm actually steering the boat and the captain is instructing me to go right so I'm gonna go right. <gasps> okay, this is not as easy as it looks. Hi, so we are at the strawberry village uh, at Solia which is about a few hours from Shillong. Try finding some strawberry. So there's one here. I'm gonna pluck that. And... Mm. That is so sweet, yummy. So I have managed to pick some nice, big, ripe, juicy strawberries, and I'm gonna go and eat some more. They also have a campsite on the farm, which is really cool. So this whole area is where they pitch tents. Guys, we are in the Kumarkali area of Kolkata, which is famous for potters and idol makers. So, follow me. So you can see they're making a Ganesh idol here. This is how they start the process. You can see that they start and made a mold with hay first, and then I think they probably cover it with clay or mud. It's amazing how they all work in such little spaces. Their workshops are so small, they're crammed with idols, but they still manage to make such big, beautiful idols. This one looks fierce. So we are at Dhobi Ghat, which is the world's largest outdoor laundromat. You can see millions of clothes hanging here behind me. So this is how they wash. So first he dips the clothes as you can see and then he takes them and then beats the crap out of them. So we are at Ungan village and one of the biggest industries here is silkworm farming. So let's go. Wow, I see a lot of silkworms and they're quite massive. I imagine them to be really tiny like earthworms but they are fat. Okay, so now I'm going to try and peel this cocoon. Let's see how that turns out. There's actually a worm in here, so I'm trying to not kill him. <laughs> we have a winner. Ta-da! Now the women of the village are going to dress me up in a gentleman. Okay, let's go. It's really early in the morning. Today we're headed out for uh, the Bishnoi village safari. Now the Bishnoi village is a traditional Rajasthani village. And you know what the highlight of my day is? It's my ride. <laughs> so we 
we are at the Gural village and the Gural lake is behind me. So we've come really close to see the antelopes as you could see from there. Behind me you can see uh, there's a house here where in the first village. So I noticed she's wearing these anklets that all the ladies wear, you know these thick anklets. The shepherd women, mm -hmm. when they are married they wear the bangles. Yeah. But these women they wear a big nose ring and the anklets. at the Chinese fishing nets. These are the famous Chinese fishing nets and they're all lined up as you can see on either side. And uh, I'm really excited today because I'm actually going to go fishing and this is not your typical get in the boat type of fishing. This is pretty much where they drop the net and you have to pull it up. So let's go try it. Song no song? <laughs> Hey Jala. Hey Jala. Hey Jala. Hey Jala. Hey Jala. Hey Jala. Wow. That's quite a workout for your arms. Let's see what we got. So I've just finished pulling up the fishing nets and it's actually a really fun experience. But yeah, they actually do this two, three hundred times a day so you can come and help. We are at Ketli Ghat station waiting for the toy train to arrive. It's not as small as I expected, but it's pretty cool. So we've made it onto the train. There are people sleeping on the train and Adi is nearly stepping on them. <laughs> Families we greet like Satsri Akal. Satsri Akal, yes. Satsri Akal. Grandma, and she's making papada. Wow. Mmm. So I'm ready to milk a cow for the first time in my life. No, nothing arrived. Oh, yeah! Oh my god. Oh, oh god! <laughs> okay, so I'm actually taking Albert around. So that's your position. Uh, mm -hmm. That's all, right? Right. Right leg. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you guys.